how you came into the kingdom. He authored. You know, each, each one of us could give a, an account of the, the events uh, leading up to our, our conviction and our, our conversion and our confessing of Christ. And, and it might look on the outside that each one of us had different kinds of experiences. But when you, when you get down to why you had those, that experience, it's because Jesus was authoring faith. Jesus authored faith. We don't, we don't find our, everybody doesn't find their own way to the Lord. Jesus authored faith. It all, it all starts with him. It all ends with him. That's why in the Revelation it says he's the Alpha and the Omega. That's the, he's the beginning and the end. He, he, it starts with him. It ends with him. And we, we come somewhere, somewhere in the middle. Never forget how you came into the Lord. He's the one that delivered. He's the one that called. He's the one that quickens. He's, he's the one that does the washing. Yeah. He's the one that chose us. That's why we chose him. Because he chose us. Amen. We love him because he first loved us. Amen. That's the he's Jesus is authoring. You know, we go you could tra we could trace this all through the scriptures of the, the 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 apostles and through the book of Acts and through the epistles and what about all these, these you know, Onesimus and Timothy and and all of these these people that we see added to the church? What is it when it says in the book of Acts and they were added to the church? Jesus was authoring. That's what he was authored, those 3,000. They were added to the church because Jesus authored them in, into the church. Now, when Jesus authors, he brings us into the work. See, he authors and he finishes. That's what Jesus is doing now today is he's finishing. It's not that he authors and then he goes on to someone else and then at the end of your life, he comes back to finish. No, he starts finishing the day he authors. That's, that's, that's the continuation of the, of the work. He authors and then he begins to finish. See, so we're to, we're brought into this work. It, it, the work is his, but we're brought into it. We're in the yoke with Christ. And so we're told, keep the faith. Yeah. And we can because he's finishing. He's finishing the faith. So I exhort you, brethren, keep the faith. Amen. There are things and there are people and there is a world yeah. that is trying to wrench you from it and wrench it from you. Keep the faith. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Holding the faith is another way of saying it. Hold, holding the mystery of the faith in, in a pure conscience. And Peter exhorts us to this work to add to your faith. Now, it's not that, it's not that faith is just one part. Like Jesus gives a part and then we add the, what, what's missing to it. No, it's where the faith is growing. We're adding, adding to the faith so that we come into that work. Continue in the faith. Continue in it. Faith is not a step that now, now that's done, we're going on to something else. No, at continue in the faith. Amen. The faith, the, the brand new believer has the same faith that the one who, who is uh, who's leaving, you know, at the end of his race, who has, who has run, run a good, run the race and has kept, fought a good fight. They have the same faith. They continue in the faith, not, not, not in a, in your faith, your the faith that you have is your faith, but it's, it's not an individual type of, of, uh, of tailored, like, I have faith for this and you have faith, faith for that. It's the faith. Amen. Continue in, in the faith. For, and Paul labored for the church for their furtherance and joy of faith. See, there's a, there, in the kingdom, there's, there is a, there's a confidence in the work of Christ that he's the author and finisher. But then there's also not the assumption that because you have faith now that you're set and, you're, and that, you're, that there's, no, there's no concern at all. Paul had full confidence that what, the, like Brother Justin said, the work that he begun in you, he will complete it till the day of Christ. But at the same time, he had the care of the churches. See, that that's, that's all gendered by the faith. Jesus is the author and the finisher um, of our, our faith. So he will finish the faith. So what, to wrap all this uh, together into an exhortation, it would be abide in him. He's the one that authors it. He's the one that finishes it. We've got to stay with him. Jesus asked us the potent question. When some, when some heard his word and they said, Who, this is a hard saying. And they went away. Have you ever heard the words of Jesus and thought, that's a hard saying? Would you go away? Here's the exhortation. Would you go away from the author and the finisher of your faith? Would you go away? Where will we go? To whom shall we go? 
He has the words of everlasting life. And so, see, we want to take all of the all of the experiences of life and filter it through this. Jesus is the author and finisher of our of our faith. We all know that not every day is is alike. Some someday all your strength is is spent in standing. Is that's all you can do is just stand. And someday your strength is you can like run. In, I'm talking about in the spirit you can you can run. Some days you can you can rejoice and you and you're just like on, on the mountain. You can just see for uh, miles and miles. You can see afar off. And other days are are valley days. Some days are sunny and some days are overcast. You you know what I mean. But see, and no matter what kind of day it is, he's finishing your faith. There's some finished work in those mountaintop days, but certainly there's a finished work in the valley days. There's, there's a finishing work in the days of comfort. There's a finishing work in the days of trouble. Paul expressed all kinds of, of experiences that he, that he had, you know, being cast down and, and being con, uh, uh, in distress and being pressed out of measure. There's all kinds of, of experiences. You want to filter them all through this reality of Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of faith so what if you're having a troublesome day he's finishing if you're having a joyful day he's finishing if you can see what you know see afar off he's finishing if you can't see if you can't see afar off he's finishing he's the finisher of our faith and so i exhort you to abide in him wherever he goes follow him wherever he goes and he'll he's finishing your faith so we thank you brother justin for your Encouraging words this morning. Yes. Open up for any of the brethren's comments. Brother Marty.